Let us look at integrating x e to the ax. Now, x is a function of x itself. e to the ax is another function of x, where a is a constant. So what we have is the product of two functions of x. So let us use integration by parts. Now remember the integration by parts formula the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du okay now which one of these do you choose to substitute for u and which one for dv if you let u suppose to say let u be equal to a e to the ax when you go from u to du it means you're going to have to differentiate so du would be a e to the ax and then if you use x as dv and you say dv is equal to x then v moving from dv to v you integrate this would be x squared over 2 what you would end up with is the integral of uv which is e to the ax that is u times v x squared over 2 minus the integral of v which is x squared over 2 du which is a e to the ax now you see here you have get gotten yourself into even more problem that you than you started with because when you differentiate du you, you get an even more complicated quest, um, function when you differentiate u you go from e to the ax to a e to the ax so going from u to du becomes more complicated then dv is x but v is x squared over 2 so both of them become more complicated so you don't want to do that what you want to do is substitute one of these for u so when you go from u to the u that means you differentiate the function becomes simpler so let's look again at which one you use for u and du um, I mean dv not du here let us use u this time as x so du is 1 you see it becomes a lot simpler from x to 1 then that means dv is e to the ax now v would be e to the ax over a see that you can do this using integration by substitution to show that when you integrate e to the ax you'll get e to the ax over a I have, um, I have other videos that show um, this done by integration by substitution all right now here what we have is that the integral of u in this case x dv in this case e to the ax dx that is equal to u which is x times v 
um by the way dv is e to the ax dx i didn't remember to put that and du is one dx right so here we have x u which is x times v which is e to the a x over a right which is then that becomes u v minus the integral of v v is e to the a x over a times du du is one dx okay so now, this is equal to, this is going to have x, let me just write them here, x e to the ax, so it's x e to the ax over a minus, what we will have here? is e to the ax divided by a you can instead of mixing up the a into the integral or in this case it's divided by a so you can say it's 1 over a times the integral of e to the ax dx all right so, make sure you follow carefully. Alright. So, in this case now, what you have, I'll just write everything in one color now. It is x e to the ax over a minus 1 over a times e to the ax when you integrate e to the ax which we did earlier you get e to the ax over a plus c now that's the solution but you can clean it up a bit you can put e to the ax outside the bracket and by the way before we put the bracket Let's look at what this would look like. x e to the ax over a minus. This would be e to the ax over a squared. You see that? a times a plus c. And then you can put the bracket and so on. Clean it up, make it look neat and everything. So e to the ax divided by a. Open bracket. Up top here, you get x over 1. You don't have to put the over 1, just put x minus e to the x into e to the ax. This will be 1 over a plus c. 